everything is changed. It is the time of the color purple, the season of Advent. Purple is the color of getting ready. It is the color of the sky right before dawn when the light of day comes. Purple is also a royal color, the color of kings, and a king is coming. But not the kind of king that we usually think about. This king had no fancy robes, no big palace, no riches. This king was a baby born in a barn. And this king who was coming still is coming right now. That is full of mystery. And you know, a mystery can be hard to enter if you don't get ready. People this time of year are hurrying around shopping, going to parties, decorating, and they can walk right through this mystery and miss it. Because they either don't know how to get ready, or maybe they've forgotten. The church decided a long time ago that we needed time and a way to come close to a mystery. And so they set aside four weeks because this mystery of Christmas takes that long to be able to enter. And this mystery that was back then is also now. And during this time of getting ready, we are all on the way to Bethlehem. There are people who have already made this journey and they can go with us and help us know the way. The prophets, Mary and Joseph, the shepherds, the magi, all made the journey to Bethlehem and can show us the way. On the first Sunday of Advent, we remember the prophets. Prophets are people who come so close to God, and God comes so close to them that they know what matters most. Prophets see things and know things and tell the truth. You see this pointing finger? That's what prophets do. They point to the light, to what's important. Back then, they were pointing to Bethlehem and saying something like, Stop! Look! Pay attention! We don't know everything, but we do know that this is the place where something so important is going to happen. It will change everything. Let's enjoy the light of the prophets who give us hope as they point to the great light that is coming. On the second Sunday of Advent, we remember the Holy Family. Joseph and Mary, who show us the way of faith. Do you see the road to Bethlehem on the plaque? The Holy Family is on the way to Bethlehem, and we are going with them. Mary was very pregnant, just about ready to have a baby. It's very hard to walk when you are very pregnant and just about ready to have a baby. So when Mary just couldn't take another step, she would ride the donkey. And when you're very pregnant and about ready to have a baby, riding a donkey is very uncomfortable. 
So she would walk and ride and then walk. It's very likely they were the last ones up the road that night to Bethlehem. Let's remember the light of the Holy Family who show us the way of faith. On the third Sunday of Advent, we remember the shepherds who show us joy. We have just one shepherd and two sheep, but that's enough to help us remember. The shepherds were outside the town of Bethlehem in the fields that night, trying to stay awake so that the wolf wouldn't get their sheep. All of a sudden, the night sky filled with so much light that it hurt their eyes, and they were afraid. Their hearts began beating so loudly, and when their hearts stopped pounding, they heard voices that scared them even more until they heard one voice say, don't be afraid. That's often what messengers of God say because it is scary to have a messenger of God visit you. The messenger said something like, we bring you good news of great joy, which is for all people in the world. Peace on earth and good will to everyone. A child is born and you will find him wrapped in cloths, laying in a manger in a barn. Go, hurry, see the baby that is born who will change everything. The shepherds ran off to Bethlehem and there they found the child wrapped in cloths, laying in a manger, just as the angel had said. After this, they went out and shared all they had seen and heard. They were filled with joy. Let's remember the light of the shepherds who found joy. On the fourth Sunday of Advent, we remember the Magi who show us peace. Some people call them the three kings. They were wise men who came from far in the east. They knew so much about so many things that people thought they were magic, which is where we get the word Magi. And of all the things they knew, they knew the most about the stars. They could look at the stars and tell people when to plant their crops, when it was safe to take a trip across the ocean, or when they could cross the mountains so that the snow wouldn't be too deep. One night, they saw a wild star it wasn't on any of their star maps, and it went where it wanted to go. It did not stay put. So they decided to follow it, to see where it went and what it would show them. They followed the star to Bethlehem, but they came from so far away that they got there long after the baby was born. They even went to the wrong place to begin with. Sometimes wise people can get things wrong too. These three kings are always late. Every year, it seems. They don't usually arrive until the sixth day of January. But we remember them today because, like us, they too are on their way to Bethlehem. The star led the Magi to the one 
who came to be the king of all kings, the little prince of peace. Let's enjoy the light of the Magi who found peace. the light of the prophets who give us hope, the light of Mary and Joseph who show us faith, the light of the shepherds who found joy, the light of the magi who discover peace. Look, it finally comes what we've been waiting for all this time. The color of pure celebration. The baby is born, the one we've been waiting for. The Christ child. The mystery of Christmas. Everything is changed. And maybe the one who was the most surprised was the old cow. She came that next morning to get her breakfast. And there, instead of her breakfast, was a baby. Everything is changed. And here is the Christ candle. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, Jesus, to be the light of the whole world. God with us forever and ever. <laughs> 